Welcome to PV Magazine Live. This is Christian Rosalind, America's editor at PV Magazine, and today we bring you a special report from the Solar World Installer Summit in Portland, Oregon, sponsored by Solar World Americas. Tell me, what brings you here today to the Solar World Installer Summit, and, and why Solar World? Well, this is our fourth year attending, and I find extreme value in bringing the team up here. So every year I'm trying to rotate different individuals from the company in, a uh, little bit of variation from sales to installers to management. And I think it's a great opportunity to see the quality and the attention to detail that Solar World's providing, and it's a first-hand experience for the employees. So, Can you tell me a little bit about what brought you to this summit and what your relationship is with Solar World? Yes. Um, well, I was in business when Solar World came to this region, and um, I immediately um, was impressed that they located here and thought it was great to have a PV module manufacturer right in our town. Uh, I, I toured the plant. I got to know lots of the employees there. Uh, just an, an incredibly impressive organization, uh, top to bottom, and I'm, I've been a loyal customer ever since they first came to town. What do you look for when you're choosing PV modules for a product? What are, what are the main factors in those decisions? Well, again, I speak mainly to our area, and that's um, the central coast of California. It's, it's very made in America loyal. There's, there's lots of loyalty to the, uh, the U.S. brand. So Solar World naturally carries that. Coming up here, seeing the factory um, just reinforces that confidence in delivering that message. Solar World clearly has a very strong brand in the U.S. market, as I think EUPD research has, has validated. Can you talk about you know, what brings hundreds of installers here and how you've been able to create such a strong brand? Yeah, so, uh, so the other name of Solar World in the United States is quality. Let's put it that way. We are the only ones, right, who has the modules 25 years in the ground and are still working and performing. So when the, the installers who are there with us have never left us, they kept growing. As they have kept growing, this is the fourth installer summit. Right? Every year we have hundreds of new installers coming. Right? People come again back to, our, to look at our facility, what's new? How can we give them the tools? to sell against the competition. And every year they come and tell me stories how we have made them successful. So it's a part of the family. It's not, I don't see this as a, they're just the installers coming. I think it is growing entrepreneurs day after day in the solar industries so we can make them successful. The importance of quality, reliability, and long-term performance were repeated themes at Solar World's Installer Summit. Uh, yeah, we didn't always use Solar World, and we had a massive warranty issue with an overseas supplier uh, that uh, did not honor the warranty and filed for bankruptcy. So we personally had to replace about two million dollars worth of product uh, that was out in the field, and then try and chase down the insurance company for a defunct, bankrupt company. And so at that point, um, it we realized it it's not. Um, <clears throat> A module is not just a module. The company behind it uh, clearly is insanely important. And if we're going to have happy customers and they're going to trust us to install quality products, we've got to then go out and do our research and homework. So we spent a lot of time uh, looking for the right module partner and uh, came out to Oregon, went through the factory, met the management team here, and uh, couldn't have been happier with what we've seen as far as quality, uh, attention to detail, and I think just plain good leadership. Can you talk a little bit about your choice of components and why the choice of particular modules and other components was important? Certainly. At Smunkers Energy, we primarily use Solar World modules, and we chose Solar World modules in general because uh, they have very high durability, they're very high quality module, and the reality is with PV, if you have a cheaper module that's not going to last over the duration of, or it's going to deteriorate quicker over the 25 years or 30 years of the system life, you're not going to get that production. So even on the commercial systems we do here in the States, it's a priority that we use a high quality module. With someone who just won an award for customer service, obviously you, certain aspects of where you source your products is going to be important. Why have you chosen Solar World modules? Mm -hmm. It's the only company that's been around for 40 years making panels. Um, as an owner, 
I don't really want to like, I, I don't like the idea of service calls. Uh, that's, you know, you lose money on service calls. A homeowner can be out of power for a little while. And we're just looking for the best quality panel that's out there. And Solar World, they bring it. Solar World's Installer Summit was held 30 minutes from the company's factory in Hillsboro, Oregon, which is the largest crystalline silicon PV facility in the Western Hemisphere, offering silicon ingot, cell, and module production, with a particular focus on quality and a very high degree of automation. Yeah, well, I've toured oh, half a dozen or so plants in China, a couple, three in Japan, uh, others in the United States. Uh, their production methods are superior. Uh, it, it's just the product that rolls off the line every 18 seconds, I think it is, a module rolls off. Uh, it's, it's perfect. Uh, you know, and I, I believe that this technology is expected to be very long-lived. Well, that's what we in sales tell people. And uh, I, I feel confident in making that statement with SolarWorld. Speaking of that cell manufacturing process, yesterday I was at the facility in Hillsboro and you know, walking along the line, one thing that I noticed, I did not see a single step of that process that is done manually. At this point, it seems to be entirely an automated process. Why is a high degree of automation important and what are the impacts on, specifically on quality? Uh, for us, that is an absolute, absolute uh, strategic direction for us moving forward. Automation is not only good in terms of making sure that you're manufacturing in a cost-effective way, but as the technologies become more advanced, as we're really trying to drive the efficiency agenda forward, as we're really trying to eke out every bit, every percent of performance that we can out of the product, accuracy and precision become absolutely paramount. We cannot successfully manufacture without that high level of automation given the complexity of processes that we're running today. When you think about all those thousands of solder points that exist on any given solar world module. When you think about all of the, the uh, high level precision that we need in terms of our film depositions, in terms of our laser patterning, uh, that automation is absolutely a, a critical must have to make the process work successfully. The Installer Summit was held as Solar World ramps production at a new 72 cell module line in its Hillsboro factory. We spoke with Solar World and installers about the market for 72 cell modules. Can you tell me why 72 cell modules are a focus for SolarWorld at this time and why you've dedicated so much capacity to this? Sure, absolutely, Christian. What we have seen in the marketplace is really an evolution over time. Uh, SolarWorld has perhaps been traditionally known as primarily a residential solution supplier, uh, which would be primarily serviced by 60 cell modules. But really, as the markets evolved, especially in the commercial and utility scale space, what we see is that there's a larger and larger pull. And frankly, when you look at utility and most of commercial now, 72 cell is the dominant product. We really want to be a full solution provider at every part of the industrial application, whether that's in residential, commercial, or utility scale. We heard this message loud and clear from our previous installer summits, from our customers that have been uh, with us for a long time, and we wanted to rise up and meet that request and meet that demand for giving them the product that they need to be able to go after all parts of the market segment that, of course, are great growth opportunities both for us and for all of our distributors and installers. In terms of the product that you're actually putting on roofs, are you seeing a, a demand for 72 cell modules in the residential segment? Absolutely. In fact, uh, last year we had a lot of orders out there for 72. And um, our vendor says, hey, stop doing the 72 right now because they're just gobbling up so fast. Solar World wasn't ex expecting the 72 cells really go as much out in the resi residential market as the commercial market. I like the 72 cell. It's, you know, you can put up less panels. Uh, it's really 15% less in cost than the, the 60 cell. So for me, I like to offer my homeowners, if they have a big footprint on the roof, give them a 72 cell. It's, that's bang for the buck.